friends, and colleagues. Today I stand before you as a son of one who lost his father and best friend. What can I say about this beloved man who was my hero? As you know, he was a brilliant professor, he was a generous friend, a patient. And the best father any child could ever have. Just a couple things about him. He did not know my father. He was relieved for the last two years that the AC did not work in his office. <laughs> As it was freezing cold in the winter, around 60 degrees, I told him, Father, the AC's not working. He said, don't say <laughs> He was meticulous with everything he did. His organization, time management, his love for Israel, doing everything he can, dedicating himself to his family, his friends, his friends and his love. Even with the laptop, they did not allow me to hold. The entire, everybody would know when he would come nearby. Um, because he always kept a large set of keys in his right hand pocket and would jingle wherever he would go. And I would know a father again when he would know when he would anticipate. Um, true to his brilliance in physics, physics his dedication, his efficiency, his sense of integrity, his love, his energy, his voice. He had a loud, voluminous voice. He was born a lecturer. He drove me backwards when I was in elementary school. We lived on a one way street. And every day, he would check his oil and drive me backwards <laughs> on one way street, eight blocks, <laughs> <laughs> to keep the laws of our city Haifa and the one way street. <laughs> he had strong values about work ethic, he was a perfectionist. But as a father, he was the model of patience, acceptance, and unconditional love. He always believed in a baby denied. And that's why his passing is so difficult. And unexpected as it, as unexpected as it came. I did get to see him one day before at his true <coughs> commitment of his life, his, his work, physics that he vowed to do until his last day. He even called from the medical care to tell the partner in his last moments that he will not be able to teach the next day. He taught me work ethic. He taught me. He taught me a lot, and I, I, I mean, I, I, I run to ins be inspired. I'm inspired, and and, and I, uh, I vow to get closer and closer and be like my father. In my brief experience in life, it's always hardest when the best people leave. Dear Abba, you had to go. The Lord, the Lord uh, took you from us. Um, but I know that what you stood for and was passionate about peace, 
peace in the land of Israel, peace in the world, is now with you. Now you rest in peace. You dedicate yourself. When we moved here, you didn't want you did not want to leave, leave Israel. When you finished your postdoctorate in Switzerland and had an opportunity to work there, you and my mom, my mother, and my sister rededicated and, and committed to, to live in Israel. You did everything in your power to live in Israel. And you had God um, took us and, and, and gave us a great opportunity in a wonderful city of Miami to contribute to the University of Miami to help with your theory on, on superconductivity, reaching high temperature. You spoke, you spoke about the breakthrough coming. The day before you passed away, I saw you were on the front page of the University of Miami main website. It was almost like a eulogy uh, right there. Um, I saw your pictures at home when you were younger, and I opened and I saw it. And I immediately put it on Facebook and inspired me. Uh, I, I said, I'm, I'm so proud of you. I called you. What a humble man. You told me, oh, it was posted last month. It's, 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 uh, it's nothing. Uh, you were so humble. You always, you were so dedicated to politics. The day before you passed away, I was watching historical uh, programs about what the Jews went through in the Holocaust. And I remember watching it, you were watching it for hours every week. I felt like you were with me. I was even gonna have you see it. There were, it was a colorized film. We always saw the black and white film of, of Germany and Europe in the 1940s. Um, you were with me, and although I didn't have a chance to tell you about this and have you watch it with me, I will have you with me. Um, yes, you listened to the radio every week and called in the radio and spoke and drove my mother and I nuts for a while because you're always talking in the radio, you had the radio and the TV at the same time. What a genius, he was able <laughs> he was able to listen to the radio and the television at the same time, simultaneously, and understand what both were saying. I couldn't take it, but... <laughs> <laughs> so, thank you. Thank you for being, bringing me to this world, and my sister into this world. Thank you for bringing joy to our hearts. Thank you for contributing to the world with your genius, with your discovery, with, with your science, with your belief about reaching superconductivity above negative 283 degrees or zero Kelvin. Thank you. My father believed in the concepts of the heaven and the stars. He believed when my mother would light candles and pray. He believed in the power of that prayer. His friend, best friend, Eliezer Rickman, had surgery the same day. And rather than being concerned about his own life and safety, he called and he spoke about, he asked my mother to light a candle for his friend who survived surgery. Thank you for bringing for, for bringing spirituality into your life and, and, and being part of mine. And thank you for letting me be part of, of, your, of your life. Always had an open door. Thank you. And now, you will get to experience firsthand, Father, peace. You're up there with your brother, Uzi, your mother, Chava, and your father, Yitzchak. You left your eldest sister, Rafaela, who could not make it today. She's all the way in Israel. She has a farm and a, a ranch to take care of. And an older, she was older than him, but the same amount of years my 
sister is older than me, nearly a decade, and she's, she's, she's strong. I never knew you would leave us so soon. I know I, I wanted to, I wanted to, uh, to have you be in my life uh, throughout many of my experiences. I'm sorry that this could not happen. Um, I love you, Father. And I pray, every day I will pray for you, I will say Kaddish. And I will say regarding Sukkot, 